know, he's, he's worried about you. What'd you tell him? Well, you asked me not to say anything, so I didn't. I mean, your dad thinks that you got the bruises from a guard. Well, I hate his prison. The guards don't like people with the last name Corinthos. So. What else did you talk about? Uh, your dad said he's trying to get you out of here as soon as he can. So you just talked about me the entire time? Well, we talked about business. You know, we, we have a few problems with Johnny right now. And you can't deal with it because you're in here. So not only am I messing up your personal life with Sam, business is taking a hit too. Sorry. Okay, Michael. None of this is your fault. And just so you know, I do not regret my decision. This is where I have to be until we can figure a way to get you out of here. Uh, you're gonna have to tell me how the schedule works in here. I don't remember from last time. No, last time they they had me in this special holding cell while I was waiting for for my trial. I never made it out to general population. Wake up at 5 a.m. The lights come on all at once. It's like pitch black to high noon. You know? And a loud voice comes over the speakers, tells us to get up like immediately and make our beds and get dressed. We have five minutes to eat. And we get yard time, you know, two hours in the morning and then in the afternoon. And um, after lunch, we get split up into work crews. We do like laundry, we do dishes, and, um, oh yeah, and bathroom duty, which sucks. It's the worst, it's, uh, that's nasty. What about free time? Yeah, um, after dinner, they leave the cell doors open. They, 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 uh, they close the cell doors at night, and Nobody's supposed to be able to get in. Um, you know, Sonny and your mom and I mean, all of us, we were hoping that you would have a different life. You know, a better one. I mean, I never, I never thought you'd be in a place like this. So I never taught you the skills that you need to survive. I, I know how to fight. I know, I'm like, oh, I know, you, you, you've hit people, you've been hit. But this, this is a whole different ball game here. Okay, obviously these people are here. Hey, they're here for a reason. Okay, if they didn't know how to fight when they got here, they know how to fight now. So I'm going to teach you a few things to help you defend yourself so the person not only can't get up, but you hurt them so bad they don't want to get up. Okay. Um, I'm in. I mean, I'm a little surprised, though. Why? Why well, I figured you want me to lay low. I'll stay out of your way while you do all your protecting, like you always do. Uh, you're not a kid anymore. We'll start tomorrow. to prop yourself up and off your ribs. Thanks. <sighs> You're gonna make it through this, Michael. We're gonna get you released and you're gonna be okay. <laughs> 